Somebody recently asked if I was going to use this Chroma Crackle stuff again, and I'm so glad you asked, because I forgot that this even existed. And I just happened to have a whole bunch of miniature mixed media paintings to finish this month, so let's go. Each one of these little paintings is going to feature a landmark in the city. Even though I am a watercolor artist, these wooden blocks demand something more exciting like mixed media. And so I'm thinking pale tints, I'm thinking translucent light layers, I'm thinking carvings in clay, I'm really thinking about encaustic in wax. I'm thinking like thick translucent wax layers, but I don't have encaustic. I've never even tried encaustic, so I'm going to try to pull something like that off using just acrylic media that I have around the house, including, I guess, this crackle gel. This gel will dry white, and it takes an awful lot of product to get it to make big noticeable cracks. And just in case I get some good cracks, I wanted to do the base layer in shiny gold to have something interesting shining through the cracks. Even though most of it just gets covered up later. I think what I was imagining was like a low relief carving kind of a texture. So I'm starting with a nice little layer of molding paste. Thick but not so thick that I can't see where I drew the lines underneath it. And I'm going to use this little skewer to carve out my drawing again. I wanted this to be done before I put the crackle paste on because crackle paste takes days to dry. So I guess I thought that this would be more efficient to get all of the slow drying media out of the way so that I can just move on to whatever it is that I do next. The thing about these paintings is I thought that they were going really badly, and that's because I sort of had a vision in my mind, but I didn't know what I was going to do to get there. I wanted little peaks of colors in lines showing through these translucent layers almost as if again it was like using layers of tracing paper on top of each other to create a misty hazy foggy kind of look and i didn't have a single plan <laughs> i had a shape colored undertones kind of abstract thing going on making these was very difficult I felt resistance every single step of the way because I'm like, should I do it like this? Should I do it like that? Do I want this to be dark lines? Should I use the gold again? Is that going to look okay? <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing, but I think in the end these actually ended up being my favorite ones out of the group. adding color with gelatos, which didn't really work very well on the textures that I have going here. It fell between the cracks in the crackle paste, which I think is actually a good look. <sighs> the thing is, like, the chroma crackle paste is really cool when it's dry. It really does look like dried mud. I'm switching over to acrylic pore medium, but I've added a little bit of white paint to get that translucent feel as if it was a wax. And every time I add a layer like this, I take my little wooden skewer again and go over the bridge indentations because I want to keep that deep carving look. So I ended up tracing these bridges a couple of times. And it looks really patchy because I didn't apply it very thickly and it didn't really level out that much. Note to self, maybe do thicker layers. I needed to add something and since this is a series where crows are kind of taking over the world, taking control, I was kind of bored of just drawing crows sitting and flying so I decided to make them holding up the bridge. And at this point I really thought that I ruined the whole thing. <laughs> I really didn't like where this was going.
And after that, I added yet another layer of the white tinted pouring glaze to again obscure all the colors and lines that I had done and fix up this patchiness, I think. Which also meant re-carving out the bridge another time and getting some nice deep indentations. I rubbed some brown paint along the edges to make it look a little aged, I guess. <laughs> and I finished them with wax medium so they definitely have a bit of a waxy surface and super freaking cool. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best one and I will see you next time.